hello guys what's up and welcome back to the channel if you are new here hi my name is lillian if you have not subscribed to my channel kindly hit the subscription button turn on the bell notification ensure to put it on the last one that says all that way is the only way you get notified anytime i upload a video so you guys um this video is me coming out to talk about the two Ghanaian women that attempted to break the Guinness Book of Record for two different marathons that took place in Ghana. One was here in Accra, Ghana, and the other one was done in Tamale. But unfortunately, they have both come out to announce that they got disqualified and it's not an easy thing to pull through you get this because i know the amount of effort put into doing this i from a distance was anxious for them i was so anxious especially for i was anxious for afua because i mean she's singing it's coming from her inside it's coming from her direct energy and I, I was like god i beg oh even two hours or even an hour i don't see myself being able to pull that but this lady went on to do that for days even though she had some flopping here and there like that led to the attempt being disqualified by the guinness book of record organizers because she went against the guidelines of the organization so she got disqualified and the amazing thing for me here is that they have both come out to announce it. Yeah, I that's Asantiwa. In case I don't get one of the names well, I'll get the other one well. So she came out to announce to her fans and thanked everyone for their support. So even uh, also her sister from Tamale, Fiela too. Fiela also announced her, announced her own as well they both didn't make it to the guinness book of record official due to some things that happened during the marathon yeah so but then we move and one thing I, i'm here to say is that so what is the future and for those who are wondering is there a future for guinness book of record for Ghanaians in ghana i mean what did they do right and what didn't they do right for me if you're someone like me i like to learn from other people this is not me asking people to give me advice okay um one person that likes to look at people from a distance and learn from there i don't necessarily have to come to you or go to people to seek advice how do i do this how do i do this the best way to learn in my own opinion is by is by taking a careful look at other people live their lives and whatever and just follow it up god help you you get to see the end of their life i mean the end of something in their life not the end of their life as in life to you know no more so i'm talking about the end of that thing that action they took how did it end i am someone like that i rather learn from that than take your advice i like to learn from example and if you ask me what is the future of guinness book of record for Ghanaians who want to attempt to break in various categories for me i will just tell you let's learn from their mistakes for me one thing i will first honestly point out during these marathons is the fact that they did too much now i believe a lot of you Ghanaians already know that this is not coming from a hateful point of view this is coming from an insider and this is coming from a constructive way to criticize something that wasn't well done this is not me coming to mock my fellow women for not breaking the record after all the energy we all saw them put in if you ask me the truth is they did too much yeah that is my own opinion and i am 100 percent entitled to my own opinion that is point number one that i learned one of the lessons i learned and the second lesson is that you don't have to do that much for you to be qualified and this is a lesson for a lot of people who are looking to attempt by the time you break a record it's fine break a record and, and set a record with just maybe numbers of hours you don't have to go overboard i am not here to blame them for 
their mistakes this is something they thought they were doing right and at the end of the day they didn't get it right and another thing i would like you to know when it comes to guinness book of record marathons and all of this is that the cameras are on you 24 7 except during the break period and it means that from the time you took a break to the time you come back it is recording even when you take a break it is recording the period and it the difference is that you are not going to be in the video maybe because you moved away to go take a quick nap or go snack on something or drink water or shower but 24 7 the camera is supposed to be on you the camera is on that stage wherever the kitchen the stage if you're singing whatever so the camera is on and it is expected that they go back into the video to take a look at all that happened because that is the best witness it's not your husband or your wife or your brother or me your fan that will come and be a witness is the video that was made the recording that is what they go back to and take a look at how many minutes you were off and how many minutes it came back and i strongly want to believe that in the case of afua it was the break period she took longer breaks than necessary i know it's not easy don't come for me i'm not criticizing her because i can't even do what she did but i feel like if you want to do this in future you should be careful about the break periods that you take if you want to do this like be careful with the break uh, periods they were longer than usual i mean i know you can accumulate the minutes you are supposed to you know take breaks when you're supposed to take break for instance if in every one hour you're supposed to take two minutes you can actually build it up by not going after that one hour you can stay back and do this for like 10 hours straight and then let all the break minutes accumulate for you you can spend quality like you can spend all of the minutes by the time you decide to take the break but in our case i feel like okay yeah that could have been the case but it's maybe she took too much while she took it maybe by mistake because of course she has people that were supposed to guide her and maybe they didn't do their job but nobody is here to blame anybody because with or without the certificates their lives have completely changed i am here today talking about them because it's through the marathon because before now i didn't know them i've not heard about them so because of the marathon they are really popular and they have really you know had a lot of breakthroughs through that like fiela the other day i saw a video of her on instagram i think she's a very funny lady free spirits i saw a video of her on instagram where she was portraying for the vice president of ghana and she was thanking him because he has helped her you know with some things travel with traveling arrangements and all that so she gets to travel outside of ghana for the first time in her life all thanks to the attempt so nothing waste no energy was wasted everything they did was you know actually good the difference is that they did not get the certificate and of course you and i are not aware or are you if there are financial benefits financial rewards for you know for for being qualified if there are financial rewards for qualifiers so let me know down there in the comment section because either basi only oh my god my light is gone because Ida Basi only showed us a certificate. She didn't tell us, oh, see money that was given to me and stuff. So we didn't see that. And that is fine. So, yeah. Um, no Guinness Book of Records certificate for either of these two women. So, in case you want to do yours, you should learn from their mistakes. And Fiela obviously did too much. Like, much, 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 much than Afua. I am their sister. I can criticize them. I have the right to criticize them. Don't even come for me. <laughs> so, you know, this is not me mocking them. This is me giving my honest thoughts about that. And I strongly believe that a lot of people will understand that this video is fair, that I talk about it like this, so that the next young Ghanaian that I want to attempt will do better than what they did don't you don't have to go overboard like the numbers of days or hours that you're supposed to use 
to beat whoever is holding the record. By the time you finish breaking that record, set it with few minutes, I mean few hours, and leave it there. You're not a robot. Because Fela cooked for days, like even me that was, you know, supporting her that usually make posts here on youtube and sometimes on instagram in her support i tire because man it can't be like she when they do the cooking she know even they tire like me when they do the posting so you see it was too much mm? yeah so next time we should take it easy for those who are looking to attempt to break the record calm down okay break set and leave it so that the next person that is coming can break it now since that time up till now we have not heard that anybody any living being has been able to break what failure to made i mean just no 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 now let's look at it like this let's assume that fiela was able to break that record do you know the amount of destruction she would have done to her successor would have suffered so much if she had succeeded modesty is very very important in every and anything you do in life like yeah she cooked for way too long because these are human i see i just want to finish this up so that we don't have to do this video <laughs> next and guinness book of record works with experts especially medical doctors i mean people that study about the body parts like anatomy people that study about the human system you don't know that these people will tell them it is not possible for you not to sleep from morning till night for 10 days ah even if you are taking your breaks they know the number of minutes or hours you are supposed to sleep when you go on a marathon like that so that could be a turn off i mean for the organization they'll be like even if your genetic is that of african that is so strong and powerful they know you are a human being and there's no how you can be awake for 10 days and be cooking you don't want to stop though they didn't state the reasons i am just using my big head to just guess and i feel like so that in case you want to attempt to do this you will take it easy on yourself because and also you have to consider the people that are supposed to take over from you now if yala too had succeeded it simply means that she would have held that record <laughs> see the world ends i mean like who was gonna break 10 days i mean who was gonna be able to cook who, who was gonna be able to cook for 11 days i mean or the person who cooked for eternity to be able to break so you see so they both got disqualified and that's it so i heard that there's one person in kumasi right now and i'm using this opportunity to reach out to he or her team so that they can take a look at what he's doing he or she's doing so they can help he or she get through this so you don't just go through the whole stress the whole sweat and still come and we will tell you sorry you have been disqualified do you understand <laughs> it's not the end of the world anyway so and normally in civilized continents and countries when somebody comes out to make an announcement of this sort it simply means that they have accepted their fault or whatever they are aware of all their mistakes and all that they are aware they didn't make it so it is only fair for you who throws these people to stop okay this has to stop enough okay enough if in case you're still on that making videos you know mocking them for being disqualified it doesn't make any sense all right let it go it's not the end of their lives in fact this definitely is the beginning of greatness in their lives and i am super proud of them all right so thank you guys for watching this video i will see you guys in another one bye